Amy Smith here from Connect Health Fitness and Wellness. Today I'm going to show you how you can check or measure a diastasis recti for yourself. Now first, what is a diastasis recti? It is a thinning and separation of your six pack muscles. So the six pack muscles go down here and during pregnancy everything stretches and it causes a gap to form between those muscles. Now, it's not completely empty that gap, there is, still, there is still connective tissue to help transfer load. But when you've had the baby, sometimes it doesn't quite come back together and that stretch connective tissue can get a bit soft. So what I'm going to show you now is how to measure that. And what we're looking for, we're looking for one of two things. First one is you're going to check the gap, how wide it is. And then the second one is you're going to check how soft it is down the middle, whether you can push your whole fingers down, your whole hand down, or whether it feels fairly firm to touch, but not quite the same as muscles. So maybe you're just noticing a little ridge. So that's what we're going to check. When you lie down, we don't want to make, so I'm going to assume that you have a diastasis if you're watching this video, but we don't want to make anything worse and we don't want to increase any intra-abdominal pressure that will push out. So what we're going to do is you're going to get down onto your side, excuse the sexy up boots, it is winter here, and then you're going to roll onto your back, keeping your knees bent and to check the diastasis you're going to be checking from your ribs, down through your belly button, down towards your pubic bone. So it is better to do this on bare skin, so you can really feel and you don't have any clothing in the way. So to start with, just kind of start feeling down the middle and get to know what your tummy feels like. And then take a big breath in and then as you breathe out, you can use your other, other hand to just support your head, lifting your head and shoulders off the floor. And then see if you can feel any difference. So you might feel your muscle on one side and the muscle on the other, and it feels pretty much the same all the way across. Relax. You can go a bit further down. You might feel, so inhale, exhale going up. You might feel a little bit of a ridge maybe on the side of the muscle and that bit in between that is your diastasis relax so you don't want to hold that up position too long so just relax and then go up again so exhale to go up see if you can feel yeah and what you're going to do is just feel with your your finger all the way down See if you can feel any gaps all the way down to your pubic bone. If you feel a gap, you're going to just place your fingers side by side, fingers facing down, and see how many fingers you can fit into that gap. Then you'll see how deep, whether you can go quite deep into maybe the first knuckle or second knuckle, or whether it feels okay, it feels fairly firm, and just make a note. If you do a sit up and you notice something doming out, that is the deeper abs and your internal muscles pushing through that weakened gap. So that's what we're trying to avoid. And then relax. So once you've checked all the way down there and you've made your notes, you can talk to me about. Um, what you need to do going forward. Then, to get back up, you're going to roll to the side again and push yourself up. So I hope that helps. Please comment below if you have any questions and if you like this video, please hit like and also hit subscribe and that little bell notification so you get notified when I post further videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.